In today's video, I want to show you two very cool apps with the Galaxy Watch 4 Spotify and the Samsung Voice Recorder. With Spotify, I'm going to show you some cool tricks like how to download music so you can listen to it offline. And with the Voice Recorder, you can record your voice or maybe audio during a class or a seminar and then take those audio files off your watch and then use those elsewhere. Lots to cover in this video, so let's jump into it. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech reviews and tutorials just like this one for the Galaxy Watch 4. Today we're covering Spotify and the Samsung Voice Recorder, so let's start off talking about Spotify. So let's install Spotify and I'll go through setting it up and how you can download all the music to your watch. So on my Galaxy Watch 4 what I'm going to do is access my apps and you do that by just swiping up and you're going to see somewhere on your list this arrow for the Google Play Store. You're going to click into that and then you want to go search for Spotify. Now what's kind of cool is if you've got your phone connected to your watch, you can also click on this apps on your phone. This is going to bring up all sorts of other apps that are already on your phone. And if you've got Spotify installed on your phone somewhere on this list, you should see Spotify. There it is. Uh, otherwise, you can just go to the search. Go ahead and search for Spotify. That's going to bring up an icon that looks like this for Spotify. And then from this point, you want to just go ahead and install the app. You can read all the information about Spotify here, but we're going to go ahead and install. And from this point, we have the option to open or uninstall. So we're going to go ahead and open up Spotify. It's going to go through its process. Now, since this is the first time I am using this on the watch, it's going to want to pair it to the Spotify account on my phone. So we're going to jump onto my, I've got a Google Pixel uh, 5. A, and what we're going to do is just pair it on the phone. So I have to go to this particular website, uh, spotify.com forward slash pair, and then I'm going to enter that code. So I'm logged into my Spotify account, and from this point I'm going to enter this pairing code that's on my watch, which is right here. So I've entered that code, and now from this point it says pair, so I'm going to go ahead and pair. Uh, and it says here, your device has been successfully paired, and you can close this page, and now I see on my watch, I've got all my Spotify controls. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot that looks just like this guy on my shirt right here. If you happen to spot Tinker briefly popping up somewhere during this video, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up, and be the first person to let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below and you might get a shout out in one of our future videos just like Ad Renix and Tor Arn Sandrez our recent viewers to find Tinker in some of our recent videos they're getting a shout out in this video as well as their names have been added to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page on our website. So I want to show you navigating around inside Spotify to show you a couple of different tricks and get you used to the navigation. If we go open into the uh, Spotify app, it's going to go to the last song that I was playing. And from this point, uh, what you can do is you can fast forward to the next song if you want. Uh, you can pause, you can play, you can go back. If you really like a song, you can go ahead and uh, give it a heart. Um, from that point, you'll notice you got two dots on the bottom. That means that you've got a menu you can go over by swiping to the left. This is kind of your home menu, and you've got downloads, your library, heavy rotation. So these are tracks that we've played recently or we like to play a lot. And then in addition to those, there's also playlists like this fall 2021 hits. So I had showed how to download music to the watch. Now, any downloads you have, if you click on downloads, it's just going to quick bring up those particular songs or playlists. And then from this point, you can just head right over to there. A great way to tell what you've already downloaded to the watch versus you can go to your library. And this is going to separate things like playlists, podcasts. You can click on podcasts. And uh, it's going to bring up different podcasts that you have. If we click on, say, this one, uh, Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, um, I can go ahead and see that these are different uh, episodes that were put out. And from this point, I can click on one of these. 
uh, and I can go ahead and download it to the watch. So if you like listening to podcasts and you're subscribed to different podcasts and you're going to go for a run and you don't want to take your phone with you, before you go out while you're still within internet or by your phone, go ahead and download these to your watch. We can go ahead and do an example here of downloading it to our Galaxy Watch 4. And now from this point, this episode is downloaded to the watch. I'm moving backwards through menus by just swiping to the right. So if I keep swiping to the right, you'll notice here I'm back to my library. Now if I go to downloads, I'm going to see that playlist that I downloaded. And here is that downloaded episode of a podcast. So I've got choices to listen to uh, if I'm not within internet. So those are kind of different ways that you can move through Spotify. Now in addition to that, uh, if you are playing songs, let's say uh, we go to a song here, we push this play button, it's going to try and find a uh, headphone that I've got connected. So let's talk about just connecting headphones directly to the uh, Galaxy Watch 4. In case you do want to leave your phone or device at home and you want to stream music or if you want to listen to music from your uh, device directly to your headphones, uh, you have to connect the headphones by Bluetooth to the watch by swiping down. And then from this point, uh, you've got your quick settings and you can scroll to the right and that also shows you more of the settings. Eventually you want to see this little Bluetooth headphone icon. And if you tap on that, it's going to be searching for your device. Uh, for these Galaxy Buds Plus, they're in the case, and when I open the case, that puts it into pairing mode. If you're using a different set of headphones, you will have to put it into the pairing mode, which is usually just holding in one of the buttons, like the power button. You'll start to see flashing lights, but in this instance, you'll see that the Galaxy Buds have showed up here as an available device. Now, if you're doing this, depending on the Bluetooth headphones you have, for these particular Galaxy Buds Plus, a problem I was having is they weren't showing up under my available devices, and I was rescanning several times. What I figured out is that I already had these headphones connected to my phone, and as long as these headphones were connected to my phone, they were not going to show up in this available devices list. So if you're having that problem, the way to uh, get around that problem is you temporarily have to disconnect those uh, particular, in this instance, Galaxy Buds Plus. I had to disconnect those from my uh, Google Pixel 5a phone and I actually had to have the phone forget about the Galaxy Buds because if I didn't do that they just would automatically connect to my phone when I'd open up the case and if it's already connected to a device it's not going to connect to another device uh, at the same time. So I had to disconnect these from my phone and now we see that the Galaxy Buds have popped up on the watch. I'm going to go ahead and go through the pairing and now they are indeed connected to the watch without needing my phone. So any of the music I've downloaded from say Spotify or any podcasts I want to listen to, I can now directly do that from the watch which is Bluetooth to these headphones. And if you're learning something or if this video is helping you out, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So back into Spotify, something else I want to show you is if you want to bring the volume up or down on your headphones, you can just use the digital bezel or on the uh, classic edition, you can rotate that bezel and that is going to bring up your volume. And from that point, you can make it louder, quieter. You can also tap the sound icons and that also is going to change the volume level on the watch. The other thing that's convenient about running something like Spotify on the watch is that uh, if you don't want to actively be in the player and you're doing something else or if your watch goes back to the home screen, there's this little music icon that pops up at the bottom and if you tap on that, that will bring you as a shortcut real quickly back to whatever you're currently playing that's in the Spotify app. So now I want to show you how you can record voice memos or audio from your watch that you can then use at a later point um, if you didn't want to bring your phone with you. Maybe you're going to a seminar or class or maybe you're going to an interview and you wanted to record audio. You can simply do this by installing an app. Uh, you can go to your apps on your Galaxy Watch 4 by swiping up, going to the Google Play Store, 
And then from this point, you want to install the Samsung Voice Recorder. So I'm just going to do a search for that. And after searching, I was able to find it and then install it. And then uh, you can go ahead and open this voice recorder. Very simple, easy to use. It's got some different features in the interface. So you can, if you've got a Samsung device uh, at a later point, you can uh, actually do a speech to text. And this will convert up to 10 minutes of speech into text, which is kind of a neat feature. Uh, if you just want to do a standard audio recording, you hit the record button and we'll just do some test audio. So we are testing some quick audio recording on the Galaxy Watch 4. You have the option to pause and then continue recording or you can hit the stop button that's over here on the right. When you hit the stop button, it's going to save it as a voice recording, gives you the amount of time in length that it is, as well as the date and time it was recorded. From this point, you can play it back on your watch by just tapping on the play button. So we are testing some quick audio recording on the Galaxy Watch 4. And I've got options there where I can adjust as I'm playing it the volume. So we are testing You've also got controls where you can go in or back 15 seconds during the recording. You'll notice that I've done a couple of different recordings. Now as a memo, because I don't have a Samsung uh, phone, what I can do with memo here is I can tap on it and I can actually see the text. And it, it got some of the text right, some of the text wrong. I said record any type of voice recording and, and uh, it took that as cord. So it does the best it can with converting speech, but from this point, all I can really do is just see this text on my watch. I can't do anything else with it. Um, what I can do, though, with these recordings is install an app on my phone that allows me to transfer these audio files over to my phone. You can also install this onto a computer and get these audio recordings. I'm going to show you how to do that next, but real quickly, I want to show you after you've recorded these recordings on your watch, if you hold down over the recording, that will then check mark it and give you the option to delete. You also have the option up top here where you can delete all of these recordings by just hitting the delete button and then it will delete it and now I can see all the other voice recordings that I have. And I want to let you know that this video is part of a series of tutorial videos I've done for the Galaxy Watch 4. So if you want to learn some other cool tricks like 18 things to know and do first with your Galaxy Watch 4 or maybe my top free watch faces that are my favorites for the Galaxy Watch 4, you'll want to check out those links in my Samsung tutorial playlist which will be linked down in the video description below. So you've got your voice recordings on your watch, but now maybe you want to do something with them. You want to turn them into a podcast or use them as some sort of a recording elsewhere, or maybe you want to play it back on a different device. Uh, what you can do, the easiest way that I've found, now granted I don't have a Samsung phone, I have a Google Pixel phone, there is a, an external app that you can install. So on your phone or device, you can go into the Google Play Store, and then you can do a search for Nav Explorer, which is going to be this particular app right here. Go ahead and download Nav Explorer for Wear OS, and this allows you to do wireless file transfers. So I went ahead and downloaded that, and now I'm going to open this up on my phone. And so now on my phone, I can see the internal storage that is currently on my phone, and then this lower area is the internal storage that's going to be on my watch and you're going to need to make sure that your watch is connected by either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your phone. For whatever reason, it was easier for me to connect via Bluetooth to my phone. So up here by these uh, lines up top gives you access to a menu, and it'll say here connect with Wi-Fi, otherwise you can connect with Bluetooth. When I connected with Bluetooth, that allowed it to connect to my watch. You'll see it's got the same files showing up on both the watch and down here where it says internal storage and this is basically the back end looking at files on both your device or your phone and then looking at files that are stored on your watch from here what i was able to do is uh, i have a folder that's on this phone which is called download and there's download right there it's got some other files in it 
on my watch, you can find the recordings from that Samsung uh, voice recorder by going to uh, music. And then under this music folder, you'll see that you've got some other file folders. Voice recorder is where it saves any of your voice recordings. Now from this point, you can choose what folder you want to transfer your audio recordings to. I just went to my download folder and that's where I was sticking any of these downloads. You'll notice there's memo one that's already been copied over. Uh, I can, and here's these other voice recordings, here's one, here's three. So let's take voice recording two, and what I'm going to do is just long press right here on my phone, and I have this little up arrow. I'm going to go ahead and tap that with that highlighted, and then what that actually did is it now transferred over the voice to file onto my phone. Now from this point, that's what this Nav Explorer app does best. Uh, if you want to find the audio file on your phone, you can do a search and uh, search for files and you'll notice that files pops up. This shows me all the different files that are going to be on my phone. From this point I can see that I've got Memo 1, Memo 3, Voice 1. Sometimes it does take a little bit because it's transferring that audio file over Bluetooth, but if I pull down to refresh, eventually that Voice 2 that I just transferred is going to show up right here. So by tapping on one of these files, the other thing that you can do is down at the bottom here you've got a share icon, which is these little dots, kind of a Pac-Man looking share icon. When I tap on that, that gives me options where I can share this audio file to say a text message, an email, if you've got something like Google Drive or Dropbox, you can also share this file that way as well and that allows you to get any recordings from your watch to whatever different device you need to get them to. So what do you guys think of using Spotify and the Samsung Voice Recorder app on the Galaxy Watch 4? Let me know your comments down in the comments section below. And if you want to find out about some other very cool apps, I'm going to be doing a video of my top free apps for the Galaxy Watch 4, and you're not going to want to miss that video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, and you won't miss any of my weekly videos that I release and then depending on when you're watching this if I've already come out with that video it's going to be linked down in my Samsung watch tutorials playlist down below but my name is Jeff this is Tinker Ford and as always I appreciate you watching be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video